Yes, people. Newcastle won. Manchester City won. We take a draw uh, from from Newcastle today. Is it the worst result in the world? No. I do get it, though. I think these kind of results, you know, where, where they're games that we probably should be winning. And on the grand scheme of things, we probably should be winning every game. You know, you can say that about any game City play, we should be winning. Uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't pan out like that. That's just not football. But I get it in the sense that some people will be saying, oh, the, you know, this is very disappointing. It's really frustrating. And, and I get that in a sense. But I also get the other side, which is, look, it's September. It's still very early in the season. Newcastle is a really tough place to go. Really, really tough place to go. We've experienced it ourselves. Three threes, last minute winners. You know, it's never a straightforward battle when we go to St. James's Park. So... For what it is and for the day that's in it, I th I'm okay with a point. I'm okay with a point. If you'd said to me before the game, you'll leave with a point, I'd have said, okay, on to the next. At least we didn't lose. We're still unbeaten. Do you know what I'm saying? And I think considering the variables and the circumstances around the week Man City have had um, and the, the problems and the headaches Pep's had to deal with throughout the week and in terms of team selection today, I still think it's okay. I still think it's fine. Do I think it was a great performance? No, I don't. I really don't. And I think it's okay to say when you don't think it's a great performance. You don't have to be hyper positive, but also try not to be hyper negative. I think it's okay to be balanced and discuss what you liked and what you didn't like. And there were things that I didn't like. You know what I'm saying? There's things that I did like and there's things that I didn't like. I'm going to tell you it all. So please hit the like button, subscribe if you're new around here, and let me know what you liked and what you didn't like. Uh, and what you think of the result overall and, and, and the point and that sort of thing. I know some people will be frustrated off the back of, you know, the draw with Arsenal, would have liked to bounce back against Newcastle, big performance, and, you know, after getting the Rodri news midweek, you know, really stick it to to the public and, and, and the footballing world and show we don't need Rodri or we're not fucked without Rodri type thing. But the Rodri loss is huge. And I'm not seeing people even mention this one, but the Kevin De Bruyne loss was huge. And I think it was evident today that Kevin De Bruyne loss was huge. But let's start with the Rodri one because we got the news earlier in the week. Obviously, Rodri's going to be out for essentially the rest of the season. All eyes were on Pep. What was he going to do today to try and make up for the loss of Rodri in midfield? He went with Kovacic and Rico Lewis. Now, I'm a big fan of both these players. I am. I'm a big fan of both these players in isolation. I really like Kovacic. I really like Rico Lewis. Did they work as a double pivot today? No, I don't think they did. Does that mean they won't work as a double pivot moving forward? No. I think both of them probably didn't have their best games, and I think you're allowed to say that. I know at Rico were very protective of him, and I get that, and I like that, but I'm still going to say it how I saw it. I think Rico was a bit of a non-entity today. I think he struggled to get his presence felt in the game. I think we were dominated in midfield at times. That combined with... Gundo probably being slightly off the pace. I don't think Gundo will look at today as his best performance. Uh, is he just still getting up to speed? Is he still is he just adjusting back to playing for Manchester City and the demands of Pep Guardiola? That all remains to be seen. But the the the, the good thing about this is that it's very early in the season. There's plenty of time to rectify these things. There's plenty of time to improve on these things. Kovacic to me for me today was was frustrating. He was frustrating. I, I found him frustrating, right? Because I, I know how good he is. I know how good he is. I know what he brings to our team. And sometimes I feel he doesn't focus on what he does well. And he starts trying to do extra things. And I think you all know what I mean by that, yeah? I felt like I've already said we got overrun in midfield uh, for, for parts of today's game. Kovacic contributed to that. But it's the moving forward part, yeah? It's the attacking part where it links back to missing Kevin De Bruyne because Kovacic isn't really going to give you a creative outlet. He's not going to get you goals. He's not really going to get you assists either. Uh, and his decision-making sometimes when he is in that final third is... Yeah, I'm like, please wrong decision you know and I'm, I'm not really in a position to tell professional footballers what they should and shouldn't do do i look like a professional footballer to you no i don't but at the end of the day i can i think it doesn't take a genius to work out that we shouldn't be having kovacic firing four and five shots a game into rosette you know and when it's happened a few times you start to go maybe someone should tell him you know just move it on just just move it on you know the kids up in rosette don't need a souvenir you're good at just moving it get it out to the wings Give it backwards. Give it. Try and make a, a, a penetrative pass. But the shooting business, 
chill out. You know what I'm saying? He's not a creator. He's not a shooter. He's a facilitator. That's what I believe Kovacic is. He's a facilitator. And if he's told to just focus on the defensive side of things, carrying the ball well, moving the ball at a good pace, that's Kovacic doing a good job. That's him doing a good job. And look, maybe if Kevin De Bruyne is on the pitch and some of those kind of maybe duties or responsibilities are relieved for Kovacic, he has a much better game. But I felt today he looked frustrated, which made me feel frustrated and I made the rest of the team feel frustrated. I think the defence looked very nervous. Looked very nervous. I think they did some good things. I think they looked nervous at times. And that, for me, comes back to not having Rodri. I do think not having Rodri's presence... Uh, in, midf in midfield for the first time in so long, you know, and you know he's not going to be back for so, so long, it's going to put them on edge a bit. They're going to go, we're used to having this machine in front of us, and now it's, 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 it's not as good, it's not as solid, it's not as strong. Of course it's not. That's not me having a dig at, at the lads in front of, of the defence, but it's just reality, you know. If you have such a strong, reliable leader in front of you, and he's taken away. The defense is going to go, whoa, maybe we're a little bit vulnerable here, a little bit exposed. But look, you know what I mean? There was no disasters, no goals given from open play, which is which was good. But at the same time, Newcastle could see that we were vulnerable. Newcastle could definitely, definitely see that City were a little bit, you know, shaky at times because we were playing very high up the pitch. Newcastle had the speed merchants, uh, Anthony Gordon and these kind of guys, and they're playing balls over the top and they were effective for the most part. But look, we got our goal. I think Jack Greenish deserves praise for today. I think Jack Greenish was really good. Took a battering physically. I think he got fouled four or five times in all. Uh, the, the crowd were booing him nonstop, but he got his assist. I think he carried himself well, carried the ball well. <clears throat> I think Vardy all took the goal really well. You know what I'm saying? It's it's We're blessed that we have players kind of all over the pitch that can score, You know that can chip in. We're so used to seeing Haaland score. He looked a bit frustrated today, but we still had Vardy all there to chip in. Um, but look, as far as the kind of wingers go, I'm, I'm cool with Grealish. I, I'm, I'm happy with Grealish um, playing like he did today. But on the right wing, I don't want to see Bernardo Silva. I need Bernardo Silva tucked in. I'll, if he's going to play, I'd like to see him in midfield. And I think Savio has to play every week. I think Savio has to play every week. He came on with, what, 10 minutes to go? That's 10 minutes too late for me. As soon as he came on, you could tell Newcastle were a bit, oh, this guy's brought something on we weren't dealing with for the last you know, 80-odd minutes or whatever it was. I think Pep should have started him. Um, and then, look, when it comes to, to Phil Foden, I don't know what the story is there. I think we're crying out for a Phil Foden for large parts of the game. Has he got something long going in his life? Is he not fully sharp? Does Pep not think he's he, he's ready yet physically or mentally? Or, or I don't know. There, there's obviously something going on because today was a game we, we could have done with Phil Foden for the whole game and he looked very good when he came on. All of a sudden, we had a bit more... You know, a bit more bite in our attacks, a bit more unpredictability, you know, because before then I think we were very predictable. A lot of lateral passing and waiting and waiting and waiting. And I get that's part of our play, but it usually comes with a, you know, a snap at the end, a, a decisive a decisive pass or a shot or something that we were just missing. A Kev, a Foden, these kind of players, they, they will improve that. And look, they're coming back. Foden and Kev will be back. Rodri is just the big miss, isn't he? Um, I see a lot of you... On Twitter, talking about Kyle Walker, I don't think he had his worst game today, but at the same time, I still prefer not to see him play. I think Rico is ready to play a right back. I think Akanji can play a right back if you want to put John Stones in centre back, or if you want to put John Stones at right back, I'm I'm game to give that a go. Um, like for the penalty incident, Anthony Gordon would have been offside if Walker held the line correctly. If you go and look at the line, the defence, the three defenders, Vardy all. Diaz and Akanji have a really good line, a solid line, all in shape. And the one dog leg left behind is Kyle Walker, who plays Gordon on side. He goes through on goal. I don't think it's a penalty. I, I personally, I don't think it's a penalty. You can call me bias all you want, but I've just seen Alan Shearer on my telly saying he doesn't think it's a penalty. So which one of us is uh, biased? Which one of us is, is waffling? You know, you make your own mind up. But look, <coughs> it's not the end of the world. we got to play a Slava now midweek. I think it's important just to get a win back on the board. Just to get a win back on the board. I know we won the Watford game, but that was kind of expected. Drew to Arsenal, drew to Newcastle. Go and get a Champions League win. Get the morale up. Um, and hopefully Pep in the next couple of days and weeks can come up with a solution to some of the problems we had today. It was frustrating. I do get plenty of you will be frustrated. But it's not the end of the world. You know, No league was won or lost today. And as I said, St. James's Park will take points off 
other teams, maybe Arsenal, Liverpool, United, whoever, Chelsea. It's a tough, tough place. A lot, a lot of games to go. Uh, and you just have to trust Pep, man. You just have to trust Pep. So listen, I'm not, it's not ruined my weekend. Put it that way. It's not ruined my weekend. I'm still, I'm still enjoying myself. I'm still having a good life. And I enjoyed plenty of parts of today's game. So yeah, you try and do the same. Let me know all your thoughts, please, down below in the comments. Leave a like on your way out. Subscribe if you're new. And hopefully I'll see you all soon. Enjoy the rest of your weekends.